guys, what are we gonna do today? Do you know what these are? Are you too young to know what these are? These are slide frames, and these are the little cardboard pictures we put in the slide projector, and you had to sit and watch everybody's slides for hours and hours when you went to family gatherings. Well, I thought, a friend of mine had given me thousands of these, so I thought, what can I do with these? So here's just a, a few fun projects we did. And this is the project we're actually gonna do today. Okay, so to get started, you have the template and you're going to copy your template onto whatever paper you're going to use on your slides. So I just copied it, I wanted like a light pink paper. So I just lightly painted the paper, but it, it's easier if you just have a color paper or decoupage paper or whatever paper you're using, just copy that on there and then you're gonna know exactly what you need. I'm gonna put transfers on this one. So I'm just gonna start and put my transfers on. However you wanna decorate or whatever theme you're doing, you can use to decorate your paper. You can stamp it, you can just use um, already patterned decoupage paper, you can just paint it, you can use transfers, whatever you would like. You could even put photographs in the back if you wanted to. So you can just use just whatever your theme is gonna be for your project. I'm kind of going with this, the greens and the pinks and the yellows on this project and I'm just layering these. There's a little bit of it you're not gonna see that's hidden in back. And you'll see when we get it all put together. And this transfer I'm using right here is from the Jap Japonica from IOD. It had such pretty color florals in it. And then I'm also gonna use some wording from the Classic, classic Pots transfer. I'm just taking the little stems and pieces and moving them around to make it look like it flows together. Now I know on this frame where you can see the lines, the top you're gonna see, the tops and the bottoms of these lines for each slide. So if you want words to run across, you just wanna cut them to fit in there. The transfers stick really quickly to paper. These transfers are so pretty that no matter where you put them, I feel like you just can't mess up. Okay, so let's get to the fun part now. We're gonna cut these out. So you can start by cutting it out with scissors or just use your really, really sharp X-Acto and um, put it on a rubber mat. It may be quicker just to use the X-Acto and then my metal edge ruler. Now here it's gonna be a little harder to see your lines, but you can pretty much get the gist. And these are um, two by two squares. So I'm just keeping these three together because it's just easier to hold it when I'm cutting it. I'm cutting the insides out now. You're just gonna use your guidelines here. It's almost easier for me to do these six little lines here. And then when you cut them apart, you wanna keep your pieces together so you know where they go. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing a jigsaw puzzle like I've done a few times. 
So when you're cutting these, just find what works the best for you. So when you have all your pieces cut out, we're gonna put them onto the sides. Um, I found it really might, I mean, I, I like having the lines on the front, but uh, so you can line up where all your images are gonna be in your words on the tops of the frames. But if it gets too dark in here, you can't see where your lines are to cut them out. So you can decide if you wanna print that onto the front or onto the back then cut out the six by six square and then you know that's the area you have to work on. So I have all of these photo slides photo frame slides. And really the easiest way is you just kind of press, there's one end and then they pop out. And if it doesn't, you can just take a little pair of needle nose pliers and um, get the extra little piece out. I would say 99% of them come right out. So I know I'm only gonna use nine of these, so I have way enough. I'm using the white side and I know this is gonna cover up most of this, so I don't worry about it, even a few of these have marks on them. And I'm not too worried. So now I'm just gonna try to keep them in order and start gluing them on. And you could use a glue stick, you could use Mod Podge. I'm just using some Aileen's Tacky Glue and I'm just gonna paint it around the edges and glue these on real quick. And then what I'm gonna do at the end is just sand these edges off. So I'll just start this. And then on the back side, this is a little bit of an overlap, so I'm just gonna go around the edge. And then make sure it's facing the correct way on here when you look at it like this. Kinda of just try to line it up so it looks like it's lined up with the piece in front. And then just stick that to the back and let these dry while I finish all the rest of them. Okay, so we finally get all these little pieces put together and it is kind of like a puzzle. So if you don't keep them together when you cut them out, it kind of, um, you kind of have to figure out where they go. So uh, what I'm gonna do now real quick is just sand some of these edges so they're nice and flat. Okay, so all the slides are done, and what I've done is I have several layers. I'm using just a canvas board, but you could use anything. You could use a wood block, just a heavy cardstock, anything you would like. This is 10 by 10. Then my next layer right here is eight by eight. And then what I'm putting the slide frames on is six and three fourths by six and three fourths right here. So I'm gonna glue these down after I put a little crack on this background. Then I'm gonna glue these down and it glue this to this and this to this. So let's get started with that. And you're only gonna see just bits and pieces of it through the slides, so. But it just adds a little more to this. So when I did my first set, the easiest way I found to glue these down was I did the four corners and just gave myself a little bit of room and I lined everything up from there. So then they seem like they fit a little bit better and I'm, I'm kind of even on there. And you could use a glue stick, you can use Aliens, you can use whatever type of glue you'd like. I just like using this Aliens for this, it seems to stick really well. So you wanna make sure you have your pieces lined up correctly at this point. This is a fun project, it's just not fast. Mm -hmm. 
So I got these all glued on here. I'm gonna really carefully do an edge with some black ink. I'm gonna add a little crackle to this one also. And you're really only gonna see the edges of this. Okay, so let's glue this on here. And then we'll glue this on here. So really, I could just be done now. Um, on a couple of them, I actually sewed my paper before I glued it on, and that was interesting. It feels like it needed just one more thing. So I think I will add just like another little transfer here and at the bottom, just to kind of frame it. Oh, this does, I think this really does add to it though. Oh, I really like that. And I'll add this up here. So what do you think? Oh, that is pretty. So if you didn't want to use transfers and do this project we just did, here are some other ideas of using the, flat, the slide frames. These, I just use uh, decorative papers and cut them out. And I happen to have a punch that's just a little smaller than um, one and a half. And so what I did is I brought it in, I punched this out, I took this large piece, I kind of centered it and glued it right there. And on the back, I lined this up kind of like we did with the transfers, but it was just a punch and it was really fast and easy to do to get this, this look. Now, so you could do that. And then on these, I just added some charms and some resin to them. And if I resin the back, I could even use them for jewelry. And this one was really, really fun. It's a paper mache box. All I did was paint the frames and I just used the center piece that I had punched out and added it to the back. But I had stamped it with my Mosaico stamp and it was great because I could cut out all the centers of it all, put them on these boxes, added some fun little hinges and we have this cute box. So whatever you do, if you have these or you see them somewhere, you realize you can do something really fun with slide frames. Have fun.